When organizations enter foreign markets, they do so in different ways and at different paces. As marketers, we often talk about and apply different internationalization theories to describe an organization's internationalization. Looking at the learning goals for this video, the aim is to provide an overview and obtain a basic understanding of three different internationalization theories, which are relevant to marketers. So let us begin. Let us start with an overview of some of the internationalization theories used by marketers. Here we will list three selected theories. The Uppsala internationalization model, the network model, and the Born Global. And now let us continue with a brief introduction, which will provide us with a basic understanding of these three different theories. The Uppsala internationalization model is known for describing that many organizations obtain a gradual international presence and that this is done in two aspects. In a geographic aspect, by starting with close to home markets and gradually expanding through the world market, hereby showing an increasing geographic diversification. And also through a move from initial sporadic export to finally setting up sales and or production subsidiaries in the foreign markets hereby showing an increasing market commitment. The Uppsala model is also called the stage model, as it describes the process of an organization's internationalization in stages measured on these aspects. The network model describes the type of internationalization where an organization establishes a geographic expansion through establishing relationships and networks of independent actors in one or several foreign markets. The network is established through different types of bonds. These could be personal, legal, economical, or perhaps technical. The relationships are flexible, which makes this model suitable in environments with regularly changing conditions. Born Global. This is a theory used to describe those organizations that experience a so-called globalization from birth. They see the world as one market and typically any adaptation of the product and or other elements of the marketing mix are very limited. As marketers, we often find that many companies' international expansions are characterized by a combination of different internationalization theories. By applying these theories, we can gain an understanding of an organization's international expansion so far. We have now provided an overview and obtained a basic understanding of three different internationalization theories, which are relevant to us as marketers. If you want to learn more about internationalization, the internationalization theories, the market selection process, entry mode decision or the global marketing mix, or other marketing related subjects, then I suggest that you watch additional videos on this channel. To further support and substantiate your learning, I recommend that you read Global Marketing by Sven Hollinson, as well as Principles and Practice of Marketing by Jobber and Ellis Chadwick, and if you're able to read Danish, International Markedsføring by Rolede Andersen and others. My name is Tina Wade. Thank you for watching.